Assalamu alaikum everyone. Hello and welcome to MK's Kitchen. Today we're going to be making fried chicken. I've been asked to make fried chicken recipes, so today I'm going to be making fried chicken MK style. So let's get down to recipe. First, I will need my gloves now there are some very key elements while making fried chicken to make it less greasy more juicy more crispy so i'll be using today leg and thigh but of course you can pick your choice of meat could be dark meat the rest ribs or even wings so this recipe works for both for all of them so first I'm gonna split these chicken legs and I wanted to keep less excessive fat on the chicken now look I cut this chicken completely from the center from the bone joint so you're not cutting the bone actually and then we're gonna keep the rest of the fat on the chicken the skin and then just cutting anything excess hanging kind of like because that will keep the chicken less greasy and then we're going to put them in the cold water. And again, like I said, key element, get out all the extra fat. I know a lot of places keep the fat to make it more crispy, but that also makes it more greasy. So we wanted to keep it nice and clean, enough skin to make it nice crispy fried chicken, but with less amount of grease. I've also cleaned the, the pieces right there on the thigh now this is a crucial thing that you have to do it if you do this it will make your chicken all the way cooked through and it will give you a nice and juicy chicken so what I do is take the bone the center bone right here crack that bone like open it up like this so this makes a room for the chicken to get cooked through from in the oil so into the pool for swimming and I'm gonna do the rest for all my other pieces. I'm making this recipe for two to three people, so I'm using about six pieces, three, th three legs, three thighs. Of course, if you wanna make more, you gotta double the recipe. Normally legs are okay, it's the thigh that you need to clean up a little bit. Because I have some extra fat in the back, on the side, a little tail thing, you could take it off. I know uh, it makes them nice and crispy, but it, this will be still crispy, trust me guys. So here we go, chicken is ready, now we're gonna do our quick marination for the chicken and let it sit for a little bit while we make the breading. So it's important to make sure your water is cold. If it's not cold enough, put some ice cube in there and it works. So let's start with some marination for chicken. So I'm gonna take some salt, about two teaspoons. I'm gonna put one teaspoon of paprika as well. I wanna give this nice color inside. When you take a bite, you'll see some reddish colorful inside the chicken. And a little bit of cayenne pepper. Keep a nice mix. It's good to put in the fridge for a couple hours to get best results. Overnight is amazing. But even if you put 30 minutes before you're cooking, it's also okay. It works just fine. So there you go, the water from marination is ready. So I'm gonna put that in the fridge while I'm gonna be making the bread. It seems a lot of work to make fried chicken, but trust me guys, it's very easy. Just a total of about half an hour, 40 minutes, and you have nice, fresh, crispy homemade fried chicken but just like you buy from outside so here we are we're taking some bread out. so I'm gonna be taking about one and a quarter cup of uh, white whole uh, white all-purpose flour in that I'm gonna be adding one teaspoon of salt one teaspoon of smoked paprika oh it smells so good it gives you that smell in that chicken I'll put a little bit more because I love paprika now with that, I have quite a bit of other seasoning. 
So what I got here is uh, garlic powder, onion powder. You want to make sure your onion powder sometimes are like little pieces. You want to make sure they're all crushed nicely and there's no lumps of the powder. It helps your chicken to get fully coated nicely with no uh, chunky pieces. Then I have one teaspoon of red chipotle chili powder and a half teaspoon of cayenne pepper. You can tweak this spicy level based on your need, but here I'm putting about one and a half teaspoon of total spicy. But that's not all because we do have half a teaspoon of white pepper and half a teaspoon of black pepper and half a teaspoon of lemon pepper. So there's also some more heat in there. With that, I'm also going to add a teaspoon of cornstarch. This to give a little crispy coating. And I'll mix it first. And there's one more ingredient to go in there, and then our batter will be ready. Oh, that smells so good. Smell the spicy, I can smell the lemon, I can smell the paprika. One of the last ingredients I'm going to be taking is cornflakes, unsweetened nature, because otherwise your chicken will be sweet, unless you like it. So I'm going to be taking just about half a cup of cornflakes. I'm going to put it in a little Ziploc bag because we are going to crush this. You can also take a roll of meat and roll it back and forth. Let's dump that in there. Beautiful. Give it one more mix to get everything evenly combined in this batter mix. Now there's so many ways to make fried chicken. I will show you a few other ways in my other videos, but this one is one of the quick, easy, and really delicious, nice, crunchy, not so greasy fried chicken. Okay, so the batter is ready. About half an hour, the chicken's been sitting in the fridge. The oil is ready, the batter is ready, and I'm ready. So let's get the brain going and start frying these chicken. If you can see the nice red color, the paprika look is there, you will see more when we better it. So let's get. So the key thing is right now, I'm because it's my first piece, I use both my hands. But for the next piece, I gotta use only one hand because you gotta keep one dry, one wet. Otherwise, your batter will get all watery and gooey and sticky and get all the lumps in there and you won't be able to finish marination better of all your chicken. So look, slightly breaded, it's light enough that it's gonna be nice and crispy. It's better evenly to shake off any excess and look how gorgeous it's look. And on the plate here for a couple minutes while I'm gonna do the rest. So now I have to use only one hand because now you can double better but I find that double batter is get a little too crispy and starting to get a little oily and greasy, but one coating is quite enough and tastes the chicken delicious. Here you go, chicken's ready. Now we're gonna go and put them in the fryer. All right guys, all the chicken is nicely coated. Now it's time for them to go for a swim. So here we go thigh in first and you always wanted to put it away from you because you don't want to splash oil on yourself now these are a bit big pieces so i have to probably spend a few batches you guys chicken are in the fryer and i'm going to use a timer on one of my stoves for 14 minutes and it will be ready in 14 minutes once it comes out, we're gonna let it sit for a few minutes while we make the french fries. So 
guys, the chicken is ready. So I just pulled it up. And I'm just gonna stack them up here for a few minutes just to get all the oil drained out. Now remember I was talking about the center. Let me show you guys, look. There's no red blood in there. Look at this. Nice and white juice. This means the chicken is ready. No need to worry about it, that it's undercooked inside. salt on chicken and fries also a little bit of desi chaat masala on the fries and a little bit on chicken give it extra flavor hey okay guys my dinner is ready look at this what a great color out of these chicken fries, we got some dinner rolls. Alright guys, so here you go, the delicious, simple recipe of fried chicken. As I said, there's so many other recipes for ways to make fried chicken. I will show you some other ways for butter chicken as well. You will insert the marination inside the chicken. We'll do that in my next video. But today is the classic spicy, crispy fried chicken. Let's get down to it and try our chicken. Mm. So crunchy, so juicy. Look at the chicken, look at the steam still coming out. Just without any sauce, just this chicken tastes delicious. I want to take one more bite. So I'm gonna go enjoy this delicious chicken. Do try this recipe and let me know how you like it. I hope you like this recipe and enjoy this recipe. Leave me a comment that how this chicken turned out. Until next time, I will see you at MK's Kitchen. Don't forget, if you're the first time on my channel, to subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button. With that, hit the bell icon which is right next to it so you get all the notifications of my upcoming video first. Until next time, I'll take leave from here. MK, see you next time on MK's Kitchen. Take a good care of yourself. Allah Hafiz. Have a good night.